Yo, hey, what's up, man? Hope y'all back to another video. Hustle with us, your boy 98 CEO, aka your answer. And I'm back with another video. So, I ain't gonna lie, I told him I'm gonna talk to you guys about today, but I ain't gonna talk to y'all too much. So I got a lot back in. And no cap, boy, this one is fun. I told y'all how my other one was, uh, uh, I know, I told y'all that these two were funny because I'm passionate about them. Like, I got my jersey here. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I can say I live in Atlanta. Or, uh, I'm from. I'm from Plato, though, I'm getting to you, but I live in Atlanta. But yeah, I'm a Falcons fan, so I got my jersey right here. But another top two that, bro, it has come to my attention. I'm sitting at work yesterday. Let me just, let me just get y'all out of my day. Let me get y'all the best stuff. So I'm sitting at work yesterday, chilling. Get a, get a notification against me and Sam Bellinger um, will start uh, Sunday. You don't know who Sam Bellinger is. Sam Bellinger is a quarterback. Came from Texas, probably about three or four years ago. It might be his fourth year in the league, something like that. Came from, came from Texas. Uh, he's been a career back, let's just say it like that. Uh, he, been, he got drafted to the Colts. So, to tell you kind of the, the scope of who Sam Bellinger is, he's been there kind of through the last couple of quarterback regimes. Um, so, Andrew Luck, I think he might have got there the last season of Andrew Luck, if not the year uh, after he retired. So, if it was the year after he retired, then you got to look at the people that were starting to him. So, we got Jacoby Brissett. Um, mostly career backup, but he's kind of, you know, been pinball around and, and, and learned a couple stars, star positions. Um, but mostly been a career backup. Then you got Carson Wentz, number two pick, uh, 2016. Went uh, to the Super Bowl, but, you know, he was hurt in the place. So he did win the Super Bowl. He didn't participate too much in uh, towards this year at the time. So, second pick, you know, he's been traded, pinball, he's been balling around, he's traded by every offseason at this point. So, uh, he's in him as well, they, they got him. And then this year, uh, um, so those are the kind of the quarterbacks that were starting to bust and Sam Elliott kind of give you a range of, you know, where he was on the depth chart. So he probably started always just been there. Um, so come to find out, again, I'm at work getting notification from ESPN that Sam Elliott will be starting on Sunday. Again, Sam Elliott plays for the Colts, uh, if you don't know. If you also don't know the Colts, um, is where Matt Ryan now plays and now resides. If you don't know also, Matt Ryan is the former quarterback of the Atlanta Falcons. Um, did Texas the Super Bowl and also lost to the Super Bowl in 2016 um, against the Patriots. And we traded him this offseason for, um, for, shoot, really pennies and not, I ain't gonna lie to you, probably like 13 cents. A dime and three pennies. We had that year though. Um, I think it was like a minus third, we got four more, but I think that was it. And we took the cap that was like 40 million, because we've been supposed to eat that. But saying all this to say, again, Sam Elliott is now starting for the Colts Sunday. Matt Ryan is who the Colts traded for from us. They picked, they got it for three for a third round pick. Now, reverse, go back in time. When Matt Ryan got traded to the uh, Colts this offseason, both oh, let's go previous to when he got traded. Previous before he got traded to the Colts this offseason, they said that the Colts were on the cusp of a Super Bowl as long as they got a contending quarterback or got a competent quarterback because Carson Wentz was not the man for the job because the Colts have a great offensive line, a great running back, you got probably the top three running back in the game, you got um, receivers, you got pretty good receivers, you got, um, oh that's that offensive line, sorry, we can go back to the offensive line, you got that, you got a defense, and then this, this offseason, what did you do that bigger step on your board to even add more to the back end on that defense, so this looks like a contending team, um, you know, that's looking like they, they say they're saying Super Bowl. So, they get rid of Carson Wentz, and Carson Wentz not the man the job either. A quarterback that is better than Carson Wentz is what they said. Now, why they thought that round was better than Carson Wentz, I don't really understand because I've been a Falcons fan since I've been alive. And I've been here for most of the regime of Matt Ryan as a consistent quarterback for the Falcons. He was the, you know, one of the, I ain't gonna say the longest guy, I'm not sure about that as far as going back, but he's been the longest tenured quarterback since I've been alive for the Falcons. So I understand the, you know, the consistency that comes with coming year in, year in, and year out to, you know, come in and be that player. It's, you know, that doesn't help your team continue. However, Matt Ryan has been on the decline forward. I would say 20, I would say from since, I would say 2018 was the last good year. So I would say 2019 as a Falcons fan should be traded. That year. Got rid of, I don't know if he was extended. I think he might be extended that year. Like, because the timeline went, um, the timeline went, uh, 
six teams who both lost, seven teams we I think lost the Philly when they won the Super Bowl that year, and then eight times they lost like uh that was like the division round lost game to Philly, I think. And the, or the other one before the division and then the other one lost like the first round when they lost the something like that. So I'm saying that 2019 season was when he should have been, you know, gotten up or or really looked at his having a decline. Instead of saying that he's declining, they put it on everybody else and said that everybody else said the team will have a defense, the offensive line is porous. Uh, Julio is all, always missing games, not playing, and you know, no running against what he wanted to do. Well, I would like him to be better than what he is. I'd like him to uplift the rest of the team that good player. But again, he's not. So, so I'm putting the defense starting 2019 should not Now everybody else put on the team. So somehow, what we do is look at week six here. Week six. And let's just look at the overall standings in the in the uh, Let's look at the overall standings in the NFL. Because the Colts are, as we speak, the Colts are 3 3 1. Not bad. 3 3 1, second in the division, line of the at 4 2. The Falcons, we are 3 4. Second in the division, behind the Bucks. Only reason is because we did lose head to head to the Bucks. So somehow, I can, can tell you how, I don't know. But somehow, some way, Matt Ryan went into a better situation where all they said they needed was a quarterback. They said this is Super Bowl between the team if they get a quarterback. And up to this point, he got the 3 3 1 consistently. Let's, no, let's look at the stats. No. Matter of fact, let's go back. Let's just go look at it. Let me, I'm telling you what the D class are. Let's just go look at Matt Ryan's stats over the years. Over this, the last like, previous years. Because, oh man. Let's see what Matt Okay, cool. So, and I'm, I'm going to compare his stats to Carson Wentz from 2019, 2021, and 2022. So, and we're going to get to these 2022 stats. So, 2019, 45, we'll say 44, 66. 44, 66, 26 touches, 14 receptions. Thrown for hell of yards, 14 receptions, no touchdowns. You know, I even got a, a two to one ratio of touchdowns and interceptions. That's terrible. Yeah, like one um, so that's what I'm saying, like that. 2020. 45, 81, 26 touchdowns, 11 picks. Great game, interception went down for it. The touchdowns are still not getting any better, so, you know what I'm saying, he made it for a minute. 2021. 39, 68, 20 touchdowns, 12 picks. So, I'm taking that all the way back to 2019 at the drop off. Now, if y'all look at 2018, like, look, 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 look this year, so 2020, okay. No, 2012, 4732 and 12. 45, uh, 2013, 45, 15, 26, 17 to the picks. 2014, 46, 94, 28, 14. Uh, 2015, 45, 91, 21, 16. 2016, 49, 44, 38, and 7. That's the outlier. 40, uh, 17, 4,000, uh, 4,100, 20 touchdowns, 12 picks. 2018, outlier. 49, 24, 35, 7 picks. And then there, there's the decline from here. Now it's even this year. This year for the Indianapolis Colts is week seven now, or this is going to be week eight. He is known for 2,000 yards, 2,008 yards, and nine touchdowns and nine receptions. Um, so, again, I don't know how this has not been something that's seen because it's been Matt Ryan, he's been a problem. You know what I'm saying? Now let's, let's compare it to the really look at Carson Wentz stats over the second period of time. Because I don't understand what confused me is why they thought that they were getting an upgraded quarterback. When he's putting his decline, he's 38 years, 37 to 38 years old. He's never been a great deep ball thrower and his arms are good. So I don't know why they thought they were getting a better player. They probably thought they would have got a band-aid because Jonathan Taylor just sit right there running the ball, but it hasn't gone that way so far. So let's look at this again. Let's look at Carson Wentz. So, they back in his career. So, we want to say Matt Ryan's decline start 2019. We'll start Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz threw 4,000, 27 tubs, 7 picks. Um, I, honestly, with Carson Wentz, we don't really even have to look at the previous years. In 2020, he dropped 26, uh, 20, uh, 16 tubs, 15 picks. All we need to do is look at last year for Carson Wentz. Threw for 3,563 yards, 27 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. They said with a 94.6 pass rate. And this year he has uh, 1489. Well, this year he has 1489, 10 to 16. They're targeting him away. 
for the guy that's coming 2,000 yards, nine touchdowns, nine picks. And last year, again, Carson Wentz threw for 3,563 yards, 27 touchdowns, seven picks, and 94.6 pass rating. And Matt Ryan threw for 3,968 yards, 20 touchdowns, and 12 picks with a 90.4 rating. So then again, I ask the question. Why, who, who thought that Matt Ryan was good anymore? That's all I've been trying to tell people, it's not like, Matt Ryan is like, like, your quarterback's supposed to clean up a couple of issues for you at the position, like, if, if we got a bad line, my quarterback's supposed to understand that and kind of know he's going to get the ball a little quicker. Um, we have a force running game, we don't really run the ball well. My quarterback's going to have to know that we're going to have to find a way to extend plays because it's probably going to be a lot of just cover. You can't just throw the ball everywhere, you can't run the ball. If they're getting to this impression, the quarterback got to know, I've got to move, i got to get rid of the ball. Um, I can't just throw the ball up and go pick or just fumble. I've got to kind of be, you know, take my, take my licks here. If i got to take a sack, fine, to protect the ball. If I can throw the ball away, I'll do that. But, again, I don't understand as to kind of the, the thoughts behind that. And then after they've been in the uh, carousel since uh, Andrew Luck tired. I don't know what they're doing. That, that made no sense. And it's only funny because, Again, I've been telling people for years that Ryan has been bad, he's on the decline. And then so me, no he's not. So again, going back to the whole point of this talk Tuesday, Tim Ellinger is starting Saturday, uh, Sunday for the Colts. Matt Ryan is getting benched. Matter of fact, let me read you this story about Matt Ryan. Just saw it. Matter of fact, let's read the ESPN article. This is great, I didn't get on it, I didn't get on this. Boom. And then, so with the couple of yesterday, uh, with the Colts offensive woes, which can work worrisome proportion, the team decided on a dramatic shift at its most important position. Indianapolis is promoting Sam Ellinger to starting quarterback for Sunday's game against the Commanders. The Commanders are in the team. Oh, Carson stop playing the You know, I are. With the Commanders, with veteran Matt Ryan sustained it. Let's see. Let's see. You see what I'm saying? They they love to throw the injury in there, like talking about with veteran Matt Ryan standing grade two show separation against the Titans on Sunday. Frank Wright said, Ryan won't play the practice this week because of the injury. Wright said, Hold on. So Wright already said he won't play the practice this week because of his grade two, whatever, whatever the case, show separation. Whatever they want to call that, cool. But <laughs> he emphatically stated that the move is intended to be for the remainder of the year. So Matt Ryan, the, the veteran, future Hall of Famer, because they give him they give all the stats in the Falcons. The greatest Falcon of all time, they want to say that. Uh, the top 10 passing uh, yard quarterback ever. Whatever all the stats they want to give him to, he has now gotten benched for, by the, for, the, by, for the rest of the season by his coach. His coach in fact stated, this is intended to be for the rest of the year. We just traded for him six months ago. This is emphatically saying he's not coming back, he's not going to be the starter, and he's not going to be on this team next year, and we're taking up another gap here. So again, I say to you, Matt Ryan's been on the decline for years, and it's not Matt Ryan hate, you know, train or anything like that. This is just to release my team, to free my team. My team has been, we haven't been the best, but we have not been getting uh, help from our main position, and I'm just happy that Matt Ryan got me to another place for people to realize that. And they say, it's not the guy, it's Matt Ryan. Sometimes it just is what it is, sometimes it's, 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 you know, if it, it's blue, it's blue. I can't tell you that it's, it's black, not blue. Unless it's dark. But see, the thing about Aaron Davis is, it's light, it's light. <laughs> so they can see that blue and that blue will not be one of them. So hey man, shout out to Matt Ryan, man, because this probably gonna be the last word right in life. This be the type of thing you just, just take out the lead, like, they kick it like it's a social separation, but nah, it's like, my boy, you're not coming back here. Let me just finish this up, he said. Uh, you know this quote before I finish the video. Um, extremely difficult this decision given the respect and admira admiration you have for Matt Ryan, given what he's bright. Uh, Wright said, man, he is a pro's pro, see what I'm saying? That, that's the, those, those are the type of sentiments that he need with Matt Ryan. He's a pro's pro, man. It's professional. Sometimes that's all you know, your coach, you know, you need from, you want from your players. Just say he's a professional. That's one thing, man, is he is a professional, he's not a great professional, though. And sometimes, when you're not a great professional, it's time to move on. And as a Falcons fan, we have, even though we have Mariota now, we have our own issues, I will still accept them because we're a much better team because of them. Let me finish the quote from Matt, though. Because Matt deserves that, that, at least from him. Okay. He's a pro's pro. This guy is special. We all know at the quarterback position that our core production of offense is not on one person. It's not on Matt Ryan. But we also know his head coach and quarterback. It doesn't matter. I'm judging on wins and losses. 
quarterbacks are, are judged on points and turnovers. We understand how it, that's how it goes in this league. Matt will be a pro, aka Matt will be a coach of the same league off the bench. Because Matt and you're out here is what he's saying. But like I said, man, I just want to free my team and release them from the shackles of that. You know, we had to get that mentality, the 28 mentality out there. And Matt Ryan went on to Indianapolis and figured out how to mess them up. And not to, not to say, like, this is the end thing, but just to, just to, yeah, he's been like that. He's been, you know, not, you know, really adding to the value of his team, making players around him better. He's been kind of close to him, but y'all let me do that behind him. I want to put him on the team. Um, sometimes it is just what it is. Uh, and he is proven to be exactly what we thought he was. So with that being said, <laughs> that is all I have for this video. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next one. Peace.